Hi there, my name is Miss Samuelson and I'm the Fine Arts Director at Arbor Lake School. This year I am directing and we are performing A Midsummer's Night Dream by William Shakespeare, but this production has been adapted by Wade Bradford. How we've adapted it is the heightened language is gone, uh, it's a modern version and has the same story with a few little added twists. What's that? Look out. There's over a hundred cast members that will be on stage and over 50 tech and crew working behind the scenes. This is probably the largest cast that I've ever worked with as far as um, actors on the stage. So it's really quite a huge endeavor. Hands up if you have made arrangements to come on Friday after school from this Friday. Well, I don't do it alone. I have a team of teachers working with me. Mr. Hertzsprung and Mrs. Loudon, they work on all the music. Mr. Hartlein has worked with students in designing and building the set, as well as working on the technical side with lights and sound. Miss Delport is a costume designer and has been a great help also with the set design. Miss McDougall has done a great amount of work with dance numbers and also she helps me with directing. Miss Hodgkins takes care of all front of the house uh, production pieces, uh, ticket sales, gathering space. She also has helped out with rehearsals as well. And Miss Kay heads up the group with hair and makeup, which is another huge part of this whole production. Do we need the flow straight or the servant work? Hi, I'm Noah. And I'm Alpha. And we are the stage managers for the Midsummer Night's Dream main stage show. I think I have everyone, so no one else is needed. I am in charge of emailing, blocking, and doing all the attendance. I am in charge of organizing paperwork that includes contracts and measurements for the actors. You can come to us if you have any questions regarding the play. Any questions run through us before they run through CJ, so you can always come to us. What do they have to do? Do, 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 do. What do they have to do? So I'm Miss McDougall, I am the assistant director and I guess the choreographer this year as well with the help of some lovely grade 9 students. Everyone facing in is going to go right hand, left hand. I would say my favorite part of the play is getting to work with a whole bunch of kids, uh, grades 5 through 9. Um, rehearsals have been going great, we've been working hard and everything's going perfect. Go! Go! Like I was saying, it's going great and uh, we're excited to show everybody what we have. Hi, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Emma. And we are the dance choreographers for this year's play. Smiles! Look excited. Bottom, are you going to snap? There you go. Our play features many songs and various actors that have to be on stage during these numbers. We are responsible for choreographing and teaching the dances to all the actors involved. Throughout this experience, we have had to take up leadership roles and direct the actors and their movements. This role has let us share our passion for dance with others. No, no, okay. <laughs> You see there near the end where it says much like this weaver. Yeah. Hello, my name is Mr. Hertzsprung and I am the band teacher here at Arbor Lake School and I'm involved in a number of ways in the Midsummer Night's Dream production. Um, one of them is I'm working with a production band to uh, supply live music for the performance. I also work with the singers, with Miss Loudon to make sure that they're sounding great. And so I've been given this book here, which is a vocal score. and. Um, it just has the lyrics and some melody. It's a lot of work, but um, it's a lot of fun as well. Hello, my name is Nathan, and I'm the sound engineer for Arbor Lake School's showing of Midsummer's Night Dream. It is very important that we have the sound production because we are working in such a massive gymnasium, and many actors cannot project far enough so that people will be able to hear it from 100 meters away. So, in my role is to make sure that you can hear everyone, no matter what the distance is, and balance it with all the music that's playing so that you get a perfect experience. I'm Cody, I'm a lighting technician and lighting designer for the main stage production. 
Lights are important for a number of reasons. One is for one, well, couldn't see the actors without them, and two, it adds theme and emotion that the actors can't produce as much of. My name is Taylor, I'm a lighting technician for Spotlight for the main stage production. The reason Spotlight's important for the stage production is uh, actors move around in ways that we can't program for, so we have to have a human moving a light other than the computers. Hi, I'm Bob Hartling. I teach technical theater at Arbor Lake School. I'm leading the students in designing and developing the props and set pieces, lighting and sound design for the play. The final production is completely student driven. They take ownership of their roles and develop the skills to collaboratively put on a great show. Seeing the play at the end of the process fills me with a sense of pride in the students who have worked so hard to make each element as good as it can be. Hi, I'm Lizzie and, and I'm Kristen and, and we're in charge of the production board for our play this year. And that's like taking pictures and headshots and then putting them all on one board so everyone can see who was a part of the play this year. My name is Lauren and my name is Brooklyn and we're the hair and makeup managers for Midsummer's Night Dream. Right now we are working on stencils and face charts for all of the cast of the play. This would be uh, an example of regular contouring. Makeup is very important in live theater to express a character's features, personalities, as well as other traits that are not defined through actions or words. It also makes the actors stand out from each other and makes them visible for the audience. This is a little bit of what Titania is going to look like. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Melissa and I'm the costume manager for Midsummer Night's Dream. I take measurements for the actors, I organize them into their costumes and let them know what they have to wear and what they have to bring. Hi, um, I'm Ailsa, I'm Snout the Mechanical and I'm in Midsummer's Night Dream. It's such a great like environment because all of the drama kids at ALS are so nice and caring and we're all, we all like to have fun. My name's Snow, I'm about the toughest guy in the world. Whoa. Uh, this is the first time I've ever had a solo part in a few songs and I thought I was going to be really nervous but once you start learning that nobody really cares if you're going to shake on your words or not so just have fun, you know, be open to your audience and just have a good time. I can't eat the both of you. My name's Brad, and I play Lysander. <laughs> uh, my name's Kaylee, I play Hermia. My name's Miriam, and I play Helena. And my name's Luke, and I play Demetrius. We are the four lovers in our school play this year, Midsummer Night's Dream. Rehearsals are actually really fun. Yeah, aren't well, they? Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're stressful. <laughs> Well, there, there, it's a lot of time. It's like uh, a lot of waiting, but it, it's worth it when you get on stage. Yeah. It's quite the experience, and it really makes you like appreciate the whole play yeah. and what goes into it. Yeah. yeah, and it's a lot of moving around too. So once you get home, you like go you to sleep. That, like, yeah, yeah. You're you get that rush of like adrenaline. Yeah, every time. Yeah, and, and you guys might see it as like uh, like easy, and it's it's a lot of effort that goes into it from crew to. Uh, Miss Samuelson to us and to stagehands, it's uh, it's just a lot of cool things and a lot of parts that working together. Yeah, everyone puts a lot of effort into it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and even though like half the people don't realize it, so many memories are made during yeah. oh, rehearsal. Yeah. I like it's you guys hard, to yeah. an extent. And a little, <laughs> you know, a little bit. You know. Everyone who took part, takes part in this production, together will have gained an understanding that this is more than just putting on a play, putting on a show. It's about believing in yourself and pushing yourself to do things you never thought that you could do, whether it's on the stage or behind the stage. It's about listening to each other and listening to each other's ideas. It's about valuing others and helping everyone succeed. Theatre education, I really believe, is a lot about learning how to be a decent human being and how to be with others and accepting yourself. Ended.